chemical basics of life. The smallest living unit of human body is known as a cell. On an even smaller scale, cells are made up of atoms. There is a whole branch of health sciences that deals with the study of chemicals in human body and it is known as biochemistry. Here are a few definitions that we need to understand in order to understand the human body either in health or in illness. This knowledge is also important for the treatment or management of all human conditions. Matter. Matter is made up of atoms and is defined as anything that occupies space and has a mass. Matter can be classified as an element or a compound and that we will discuss shortly. Atoms. Atoms are units of matter. An atom is made up of subatomic particles, namely protons, neutrons, and electrons. An atom has a nucleus in the center. The nucleus has protons that are positively charged and also neutrons that do not have any charge. In fact, it is the number of protons in the nucleus of an element that defines the matter and is responsible for its unique properties. Atoms have negatively charged electrons orbiting around nuclei just as planets orbit around the Sun. Element An element is composed of similar atoms or molecules of similar atoms. The examples are carbon, iron, hydrogen and others. Human cells need oxygen to survive which is an element made up of similar atoms. In simple words elements are pure substances of their own type. Compound. A compound is made up of different elements. For example water is a compound made up of two elements hydrogen and oxygen. Formula of a compound represents a molecule and the number of atoms of an element within it. For example the compound water is represented as H2O which represents one molecule of water is made up of two elements hydrogen and oxygen and one molecule of water has two hydrogen and one oxygen atoms. Molecule. A molecule is made up of more than one atom either of one or more elements. Water molecule in earlier example is made up of three atoms of two elements oxygen and hydrogen. So two hydrogen and one oxygen atoms make a molecule of water. A hydrogen molecule is made up of only one element i.e. two hydrogen atoms. Organic and inorganic compounds. In human body there are two kinds of compounds organic and inorganic and this is also true for other living organisms. Organic compounds have carbon as a compulsory ingredient but not all compounds that have carbon are necessarily organic. Organic compounds are made up of molecules that have either carbon to carbon or carbon to hydrogen covalent bonds or both. A covalent bond is one in which atoms share their electrons to make a bond rather than donating or receiving electrons. A bond in which atoms donate or receive electrons is known as ionic bond. Organic molecules are usually larger than inorganic molecules and they usually have complex chemical structures. For example water is an inorganic compound and has a very simple structure to understand. Two hydrogen atoms combine with one oxygen atom to make this vital inorganic compound. Organic compounds can be a bit difficult to understand. During the course of your medical education you will frequently hear words like carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. All are examples of organic compounds. They all have either carbon to carbon or carbon to hydrogen covalent bonds or both. Carbohydrates probably are the easiest to understand of all organic compounds. Carbohydrates simply means 
carbon and water which makes sugar in other words carbohydrates are hydrates of carbon hydrate is a term used to indicate that a substance contains water